welcome back to this broadcast. We'll take you right away to Makweni County and Kibwezi West is the battlefield pitting Patrick Musimba, Richard Kalembendile and Juliana Kisimbi on the by-election that was petitioned by Patrick uh, by, by Kalembendile that saw the nullification of the election of Patrick Musimba. And I'm now joined by way of phone by Asha Mwilu who's pitched camp in Kibwezi West. Asha, what do we know? primary school which is one of the largest polling station in Kibwezi West constituency has about 3,400 registered voters but activity here has already died down and the streams behind me are supposed to be full of voters going in to cast their ballot in the ongoing parliamentary by election but now they appear almost deserted and this we are told is because of a number of reasons IBC officials here know those factors all too well they tell us that one it's a weekday it's a Thursday and two it's a lunch hour. Most traders are preparing for market day here in Imali, which is happening tomorrow. And so they're hoping that by 2 p.m., some of those traders will be coming back here um, early enough at least to cast their ballot before the polling station closes at 5 p.m. in the evening ahead of the tallying. Um, this is a situation that is experienced in most polling stations across Kibwezi West constituency. You can imagine some of the smaller polling stations, some of them have, haven't had any voter going in for a couple of of hours earlier on however from 6 a.m. when we arrived here at this polling station we saw quite a number of people that early morning activity did symbolize that a number of people took that opportunity to come here and cast their ballot we did also see some of the shops around um, closed even as late as 7 a.m. as some of the traders came out here to cast their ballot although IEBC officials here on the ground tell us that that number has hardly reached a third of the registered voters they're giving that comparison um, against the backdrop of the March 4th election where the queues, they tell us, were really long, um, snaking all the way to behind my camera where, he, where my cameraman is standing. And so this is just a significant um, significance of the challenge that probably IEBC will be facing when it comes to the tallying. Um, will they um, have convinced enough voters to come out for this by-election? And how many people will vote for their preferred candidate? Those three candidates are Kalembendi of Tip Tip, um, as well as Patrick Musimba, who is an independent candidate. The third candidate and the final one is um, Juliana Mumo Kisimbi, who is from the Peak Party that, is, that was started by former Kilome MP Harun Mwao. Out of those three, two of them have already cast their vote. Um, Kalembendile came to this polling station earlier in the morning. He did vote and after that gave us a, a small brief talking to us about an issue that has really been the, at the center stage here in Kibwezi West constituency. Um, there have been allegations of fighting amongst um, Kalembendile's supporters against Patrick Musimba's um, supporters. But Kalembendile did say that uh, some of those are just... Um, they, the few glitches that we experienced before an election and Kalem Mandile was also adamant that he will win this election um, just listening to what he had to tell us earlier on our supporters are, are peaceful and that, that is our aim of uh, making sure Kenya is peace Manake macho Mtu wa huyu mtu ambao umetolewa macho atakuja kwa Kalembe nimefaulu ndio ni mjumbe lakini nitatumia pesa mingi kumtibu so inaaja gani sio pesa yenda kwa mtu mwingine ambao ni maskini so siamini mtu avunjwe mkono siamini mtu atolewe jino manake mimi ndio natakuja kushirikia yeye iwe ni, ni wa opponent wangu hata msimba saa hii akiumia siwezi kubali aumie manake akiumia watu watanihitaji ndaenda kumchangia sijui kama ana pesa mingi vile watu walikuwa wanafikiria yeah, um, I'm prepared for any outcome, but I'm winning. What kind of outcome am I expecting again? We are winning. The second contender here in this parliamentary by-election, Patrick Musimba, cast his ballot at 6.30 a.m. at Kawelu Primary School. Of course, we've been trying to um, get a hold of him, but he's been very elusive to the media and wanted to do this activity very quietly. He went to Kawelu Primary School at 6.30, we've confirmed, cast his vote and headed back home awaiting the results. Now. The irony of this whole parliamentary by-election here is that that third candidate, Miss um, Juliana Mumo, 
is not a registered voter in this constituency and so he she doesn't get an opportunity to vote for herself we're also still trying to get a hold of her and we'd really like to you know get a, we're interested to find out what she has to say about the activity that has happened here so far Meanwhile, security has been tight across most polling stations. Any suspicious activities have been reported to IEBC officials as well as the Kenya police and there's heavy patrol even here on the ground. We've seen quite a number of security um, officers here patrolling and just making sure that the activity goes on smoothly. As the day progresses and as more voters come in to cast their votes in the 164 polling stations across this constituency, 54,881 registered voters voters um, still have an opportunity to go and cast their vote in this parliamentary by-election. But as the, as the day progresses, sh uh, the focus is now shifting from the various polling stations across the constituency to the Tallinn Center, which is the Kibwezi Technical Training Institute. And that is where the IEBC will be collecting all these votes from the 164 polling stations and counting them tallying. For us here, we're moving into Makindu area, into that tallying center, keeping track of most of the polling stations on our way, and of course, we'll be bringing you those updates from location. Back to you in studio.